All right, so this is my um, upgraded HBHF multi-door with timer sensor tutorial video. So, hopefully, this is my little setup I just made just for display purposes. Hopefully, you guys know how to put in doors, so I skipped that part. But I'm going to show you from scratch to all the rest of it. So, first thing you need, so you need a, well, first thing you need is power. But your power needs to come into a splitter. So let me go over here and steal the um, power from my boathouse. So, um, if you didn't know, holding right click um, clears electrical uh, wires. Holding right mouse button. So I'm not going to do anything fancy with the power lines. I'm just going to run it straight over it so it's least confusing as possible. Okay. So, you need that. And that needs to go... For, you, you need to power your and switch, your timer, and your HBHF sensor. Those are the three things that that there we go. Those are the three things that need to be um, powered. So let's just put them right here below the power. So we'll do that, do that, and then the, for this display, okay, so what this setup is, is this is a three-door turret system. So there should be door uh, turrets behind each of these doors, and that'll trigger everything. So then your power one, your power goes to one of the two inputs on your AB sensor. Another power needs to go to your timer. Your timer needs powered. And then your HBHF sensor obviously needs powered also. Of course, the sun's going to go down right now. So you get that power, and then the power out goes to the other gate of the AND switch. And if you want to make sure you did this right, so if it's got power, it, it's green. So it's getting power from the A side, which is the splitter. And if it gets power to the B side, it will send power through the top, and all three of these will turn green. So if the HBHF sensor senses me, it should turn all three of these green. And it's not sensing me for some reason. Oh, because when you first put up an HBHF sensor, it's always going to exclude you and only get other people. That's why. See, now they're all green. There we go. Okay, and of course it's getting dark right now. So, I guess I'll uh, edit, I'll cut the video here and I'll return when it's getting light again because this isn't a very good tutorial. Oh, another beautiful sunrise in the butt naked world that is rust. Yeah, it's a shit accent, I know. <laughs> okay, sun's back up. I guess we could get back to it. Okay, so where was I? Let's see, we got the power set up, so now we need the trigger. So, the trigger is the output of the AND switch. So, like I was just showing you, watch all three lights will go green. There we go. That means that's working. So, it puts, it's putting power through when that happens. So, the power out goes to the toggle switch on the, um, the timer. So, the timer you can set to whatever you want, but I strongly suggest 10 seconds. 10 seconds seems to be a good amount of time. Um, if you're running through doors, it's plenty of time. If you're um, using turrets like, like this setup, then it's plenty of time. So what you want to do now is you want to grab your uh, door controllers and pair them to your doors. So let's come over here, pair our doors up. Okay, and if you didn't know, um, you can't pair a locked door. So I didn't put any locks on these because this is just for display purposes, so I don't got to worry about that. But if you have your doors already locked, they will not pair. You need to unlock them, pair it, and then relock it. So uh, now what you need to do is you need to put up your final piece here, which is the other splitter. So that splitter comes from the uh, timer output. The timer output goes to the splitter power in, and then this is kind of obvious, each of these go to each of the three doors. So now you can power three doors. And the end result of this, oh yeah, I'm not being 
clean with my lines. I don't care. This is just for display purposes. So once you run your lines, however fancy lines you want to run them, you do that. And now watch what happens. So the timer's set to 10 seconds, right? Oh! Why did it all... Oh. One of them didn't pair correctly, I don't think. Did I get two of them to pair to this one? Let's see here. I think both of them paired to that door. So let's try this again. Okay, let's see if it works. Now. This is the kind of stuff you're going to run into, so... Okay, now it should work for all three. There we go. So yeah, now it'll hold them open for 10 seconds no matter what you do. See them out of the way of the, the um, signal? The R AJ, uh, BH, uh, God damn it, what the hell is this thing called? HBHR, I think? HBHF. So yeah, you see, you get in the way of the HBHF, and it opens the doors, and then the timer holds them open for 10 seconds no matter what you do. So the real life scenario of this is, okay, this guy is coming up outside your building. You wouldn't have the electrics, uh, yeah, all that stuff on the outside, obviously. That's display. So the guy comes up on the outside of your building, and he goes, huh, what's this? Oh, shit, turrets, oh, uh, oh, uh, and, yeah, and if he runs over here, instead of the doors just closing and sh uh, shutting off the turrets, see, now he's still getting shot at until they close on their own. See? And um, let me show you two practical applications of that now. This is a, a live server I've been doing all this on, just FYI. Um, as you can tell, though, uh, if you... God, why do I keep doing that? Um, if you, as you can tell, though, if you um, watch my base tour videos, um, yeah, uh, I don't have a whole lot to worry about. See all this shit? I'm pretty safer with all these turrets around. So you come up here, let me show you a couple practical applications, as well as my little trapdoor. So these, this, um, here's another one I should do a video on. So I've got a sensor down in the boathouse, and I've got a sensor right there, and both of them go to, all, uh, if either of them are triggered, all of these lights come on in the base. And anywhere you are in the base, there's like five lights, so you can see them everywhere. This sensor opens the door, this sensor turns on the lights. That sensor down there turns on the exact same set of lights. See, there's the transmitter down there for it, for that sensor. And then we come in, the lights go off. Um, it only opens for um, authorized people, but the lights go off for everybody. So if somebody's outside my, my base, it'll be... Uh, yeah, I like that trap. But yeah, if somebody's outside my base, the lights will be going off. So here's... An, here's um, one version of it. This is a, a little more complex version. This one, instead of opening three doors, it has two pads and it closes. Um, you, if you hit step on either pad, it closes that door and it opens these two, revealing two turrets. Watch. See, there we go. And then, no matter where you go, you can't escape them. So it's kind of nice and you can't re trigger the trap. And it's 10 seconds, so you're dead. You, there's no way you're going to survive in here for 10 seconds. So, um,. Yeah, that one's kind of cool, because like I said, you can step on either one and it'll do it. So that's another video I need to make. But anyway, so this is um, one use of the HBHF sensor. If I open any of these doors going into this hallway, I go by this HBHF sensor and it opens all three of these doors for 10 seconds. If I stay in here, it'll close me in and it'll just keep me in here. But if I run out, close the door, and then next time I want to come in here, just run through and then it'll close the door for me so you just got to open one door and you it'll uh, take care of two for you and you can go in any direction you want like this so like I said this is one application of it opening all these doors and another application of it I'll just let it close to show you and so what I have, well, let me show you this. So this is the exact same setup I just showed you out there. See, it's got the sensor, it's got the two splitters. Um, I've got more power running through here, so I've got some branches and stuff, but otherwise it's just the same setup. Oops. Now I'm gonna have to close that because it's not gonna close it on its own. Okay, so the other one is I have this set up to not um, detect me right now. Whoops. Oops. I was working on it earlier. Um, so I have this one set up to not, not detect me, but if I do it so it detects me, 
See, this is what I was showing is three doors opens to three turrets, and then you got the three turrets right there, and it holds it open for 10 seconds. So the practical application of this is they blow through this door, they start coming out here, and they think they're safe, and then, oh shit, turrets, turrets, yeah, dead, right? You're not going to make it away from that. So anywhere they come around here, they get turreted by those three. So anyway, that's a couple practical applications of it. Hope you enjoyed the video.